Hello, in today's video, I'm sharing some amazing drugstore dupes for high-end and luxury makeup products. And in many cases, I think the more affordable dupe is actually better than the high-end or luxury product. Now, one side of my face is the high-end and luxury side. The other is the drugstore side. Let me know in the comments before we get rolling which side of your screen you think is the high-end side. I love reading through the comments after the video goes live and seeing who nails it right from the start. I'm also also giving you my verdict on a couple of so-called dupes that have been floating around that I've been testing out to let you know if I do in fact agree that they're dupes. Sometimes I debunk overhyped dupes in these videos because in my eyes they're not. I know everyone's different but I'm pretty picky when it comes to dupes. So some of these affordable products are great dupes, others are more affordable alternatives for their high-end counterparts, and others may not be worth the hype they're getting. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new and let's get into these drugstore makeup products that may be fantastic dupes or affordable alternatives for some of your favorite luxury and high-end makeup. I have a drugstore product here that I think is a great dupe for not just one high-end best-selling popular cream bronzer, but two. So I have both here to share the reasons why. The first is actually luxury. This is the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. My shade is 392 Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. And the other bronzer is, say, Sun Melt. My shade is Light Bronze. Both of these are one ounce, even though they they look quite different in size. Chanel is $60 and Say is $32. Now, even though there is a little bit of a difference in the feel between the two, when you initially dip your finger into them, there's a little bit more of a, a grip to the Chanel product. When I swipe them on the back of my hand, Say has a little bit more slip. They apply and blend out very, very similarly to one another. Just to streamline things, what you're seeing me apply is Chanel. The first time I tried Milani Cheat Kiss Cream Bronze, it reminded me of both of these with the way it blended out with the texture the consistency and the way it wears the shade that I'm in is spilling tea you can just see all of these for reference the shades look a little bit different on the back of my hand but I can't tell a difference once they're applied to my face these all have that sheer buildable formula that you just can't mess up and they set down to a natural finish they're not greasy or too matte and they wear beautifully all day long they just give a beautiful beautiful, natural, sun-kissed bronze look. Now there's a catch with this drugstore dupe. Clearly there is less in the Milani packaging than in either of these. These are one ounce. Remember, this is 0.21 ounce and it's $12.99. So you will save money up front if you just don't have the money to spend right now on high-end or luxury, that's a positive and you have a nice, small, compact size if you're wanting to travel with it. But you'll actually end up paying more for one ounce of Milani than you would have for one ounce of Chanel. That happens sometimes with drugstore products and that's why it's important that we look at the math to see if you're actually saving money. I do think this is a great dupe if you're needing to save some cash up front or you want a compact size. Good product, yes, but ounce per ounce, it's not saving you any money. Now you know which side was the high-end side. Let me know in the comments if you got it right and why you picked the side you did. I'm really excited about this blush dupe because the high-end blush is one of my absolute favorites and most worn blushes. This is Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump and it's been one of my favorite products since it launched. I first got it in pink and then I bought it in peachy pink, which is what we're talking about today. These went viral for good reason, in my opinion. They apply, blend out, and diffuse like a dream. They stay put all day and they're very flattering. Even though you see some sheen in there, there's no glimmer particles. It looks looks very natural and gives a lip from within glow. They smooth and enhance your complexion. They don't exaggerate any texture that you have. They're just absolutely beautiful. Physicians Formula launched their Diamond Filler Mineral Wear Cheek and Lip product, which appears darker when you first dot it on your hand or on your face. A little goes a long way. I need less of the Physicians Formula to give me the same effect that I get from Tarte. And at first, it doesn't look like you're going to get that 
same sheen, that same radiance from the Physician's Formula product, but it's infused with their diamond dust luminosity to give that radiant blurring effect. And once the Physician's Formula is blended out, I can't tell the difference on my face between the two. Tarte is $29 for 0.27 ounces and Physician's Formula is around 13 for 0.24 ounces. I do a lot of foundation reviews, and when I saw this CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence was being compared to and duped with a Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, which is a product I love, I wanted to check it out. Now, my extensive review will be coming out soon in my next foundation roundup, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss that. I'm gonna keep this as condensed as I possibly can and just talk about whether or not I think it's a dupe to this or any other products. Now this Chanel Water Fresh Tint is $70 for one ounce and this CoverGirl is not cheap for drugstore. It's around $22 for one ounce. It took me two tries to get my shade. So I basically spent what I would have on a high-end foundation around $45 by the time I got both bottles. But it is less than Chanel. I can see why they're saying it's a dupe because of the micro encapsulated beads that burst upon contact when you start spreading them around that's where you get the pigment from and the high water content that provides hours upon hours of hydration and the nice ingredients that they both have in them now i have extensive experience with this water fresh tint i absolutely love it when i want a sheer veil of filtered looking skin evening. I hesitate to even use the word coverage because it really does not give much coverage at all. It's a very sheer tint. And the reason why so many people love it is because it does plump and hydrate and give just such a healthy look to your skin without adding extra oil or greasiness during the day, which is great for those of us with combination or oily skin. I have combination skin that's normal around the perimeter and can be dry, but in the center, it gets some shine and oil breakthrough. And this is great, but these are not dupes. CoverGirl gives light to medium buildable coverage, which is more in line with these two foundations. Rose Ink Skin and Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum, which is $49 for one ounce, and Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch, which is $70 for 0.68 ounces. As soon as I tried this and realized the coverage it gives immediately and how you can build on it, I knew it wasn't a dupe for Water Fresh Tint. I knew I would be looking at one of these two, and so far I've only seen one other creator compare it to one of these. Jamie Page also compared it to Water Fresh Complexion Touch. So I'm applying Water Fresh Complexion Touch to this side of my face. It applies beautifully and just looks great right from the start. There's a glow there. It looks healthy, satiny, luminous. Before I set it, I do have to set my foundations because of that shine and oil breakthrough. And it's never streaky when I apply it. Now, if you're curious about any of these foundations, I do have full reviews on my YouTube channel. You can look those up to see more details. I have extensive experience with all three and they all wear beautifully on my skin. Skin, no matter how my skin is behaving, even if I have some excessive dryness going on, which is what's been happening is I've been testing out this CoverGirl. Now I do like to apply these products with a brush. CoverGirl can get a little bit streaky, which is similar to Rose Ink and different from both Chanel products. They never do that. I just need to press these out with a sponge after I apply them with a brush just to get rid of streaks in certain areas. Oh, by the way, I'm in shade B30 in Water Fresh Complexion Touch and light medium in CoverGirl. But I would say it's pretty similar to Water Fresh Complexion Touch in terms of coverage. I feel like side by side, they both look really nice after I first apply them. Today is the best day I've had with this CoverGirl foundation. Just a little spoiler for the upcoming review. After a few minutes, I feel like you could start to see some dryness, some texture, just barely start to peek through on the CoverGirl side. Now these aren't the best types of foundations to film in, so I feel like you're getting a lot of shine here in front of these lights. I usually need to film in a matte foundation when I'm filming. But in a nutshell, from my days of testing with this CoverGirl foundation from someone who doesn't normally have dry skin, but has had some dehydration going on because of a skin flare-up situation from trying products, this 
emphasized any dehydration, dryness, flakes that I had. And that has never happened with any of the other three foundations ever. I can't figure out what it is about this CoverGirl foundation that exaggerates texture and dryness for me, especially when that's not my primary skin type. In the bottle, it looks like a dupe, but it doesn't perform like a dupe for me. It doesn't apply the same way and it doesn't wear similar to any of these throughout the day. It just doesn't have the same plump, hydrated look. And I do get shinier faster with this in my shine prone areas as well. Maybe if you have normal skin without texture, without any dryness on the surface at all. These might function as dupes, but for me, they just don't. I recently got Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipstick in the shade Bronx Baby, which is a very popular shade. I would describe this as a soft, medium, neutral rose. I think they describe it as a warm rose though. It's very creamy with a satin finish, very comfortable to wear, and there are some nice ingredients in these too. And it reminded me a lot of a drugstore lipstick that I already own. Blush Rose from Flower Beauty, which is often duped to another lipstick that I'm gonna show you here. So I'm gonna let you be the judge. Let me know which one you think is a better dupe. So this is Blush Rose from Flower Beauty. I don't think the swatches on the back of my hand look that similar, but on my lips, I think both the shade and the finish look really close. Makeup by Mario is $28 for a 0.12 ounce, while Flower Beauty is $11 for 0.14 ounce. So there's a significant savings there. But what I've seen this dupe to before is Merit Signature Lipstick in Baby, which is one of my favorite lipstick shades. And I think it's really close, but the finish isn't as spot on as Makeup by Mario. Now the Merit is $26 for 0.1 ounce. So here we have Merit Baby in the middle, Flower Beauty Blush Rose, and Makeup by Mario Bronx Baby. I think the shade, especially on my lips, is pretty close with all three, but the finish of Makeup by Mario is most similar to the Flower Beauty, in my opinion. Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow has been around for a long time. It's an iconic bronzer highlighter powder duo. It's been a best selling product for years and it's $68 for 0.56 ounces. Now there is a mini that's 0.12 ounces and $29. So you do have that option. The quality is really great with this product. You have a nice neutral toned bronzer that glides on like a dream. It's basically effortless. It's very buildable. And then you have this beautiful champagne highlight that gives gives you that beautiful dewy glow without glimmer particles, which is what I prefer. Now my initial impression of Catrice Holiday Skin Bronze and Glow Palette was that it was really tiny and I just didn't think the quality was going to be impressive. It seems pretty obvious though that they created this to be a dupe, but I used this several times and I've been really impressed. The shades are very similar. We have a neutral tone bronzer and a shimmery champagne, really pretty natural looking highlight. Here's the Catrice and here's Charlotte Tilbury. And it also applies beautifully. Now I do get a little bit of kick up on my brush when I first dip it in, but I tap it off and I have no problems with patchiness or anything. I wouldn't underestimate this one. This is a pretty good little dupe that's $7 for 0.19 ounce. You can save a nice chunk of change with this one. I'm so excited about this drugstore dupe because this lip gloss is one of my most complimented lip colors of all time. It's one of my favorites and the price is amazing. And it's what I have on this side of my lips. Now I bought this high-end lip gloss on a whim in December. I wanted to try it. I had no idea it was gonna be so similar to my drugstore lip product that I love so much. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Pink Ginger. It's a really pretty pretty metallic rosy bronze that has nice pigment and really nice wear. And it's incredibly flattering. It smooths out my lip lines nicely. So my drugstore dupe is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade 
bronzed berry. This is a product that doesn't look similar when it's swatched on the back of my hand, but when it's applied to my lips, I cannot tell the difference. And I actually like the texture and the feel of the Wet n Wild product better because it has less stickiness. It feels a little more nourishing to me. The Anastasia Gloss is $20 for 0.15 ounce and the Wet n Wild glosses are around $3 for 0.07 ounce. So you get less with Wet n Wild, but even if you bought two to equal the same amount, you're still only paying $6, six versus 20. That's a huge savings for a great product. I've said for a long time, these Wet n Wild glosses are some of my favorite drugstore products, but this is one of my most used lip products, period, high end or drugstore. And I like it better than what I'm duping it to. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. It's $26 for 0.24 ounces. And it's basically a clear brow fixative that you comb through your brows to hold them in place all day. It's pretty goopy. When I first pull it out of the tube, I do need to scrape some excess product off, but the comb runs through my brows nicely and it holds my sparse brows in place. I can't speak for those of you that have very thick unruly brows, but it does work for mine. But this is a case where I prefer the drugstore version. I've been using Physicians Formula Butter Brazilian Brow Lift for a few months now since I first discovered it, and I think it's great. It has a similar comb that combs through my brows nicely and also doesn't disturb any brow products I applied underneath. It's around $12 for 0.3 ounces, so I get more product. And it's also keratin infused and has their butter blend for nourishment. And this actually seems to hold my brows in place longer during the day than the Anastasia. It is a little bit stiffer once it dries down. And so I actually prefer the drugstore option. I'm getting more product for about half the price. If you want to see even more dupes, be sure to check these videos out. I have more dupes in the works right now for another video coming soon. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.